Um, I want to take this opportunity to provide an overview of the uh, case in an effort to uh, uh, clarify any uh, confusion. On Monday, November 12, 2018, 13 Division received a call from the principal of St. Mike's College. He was seeking advice about a hazing incident that he had learned about. He was advised on how the student can engage our services and no further action was taken or received after that. On Wednesday, November 14th, Toronto Police Corporate Communications received information from the media that there were a number of expulsions taking place at St. Mike's College, believed to be in, in relation to an unrelated occurrence investigated by 13 Division. As a result, a 13 Division officer was dispatched to St. Mike's College. Prior to arriving, Toronto Police Corporate Communications received further information from the media indicating that the expulsions were believed to be in relation to a sexually assault involving an object. When the officer arrived and after speaking to the principal, he confirmed that the expulsions were not in response to the unrelated occurrence, but were in response to a video that showed or depicted a sexual assault. He also shared information in relation to another incident. This incident and the one originally discussed on Monday are being investigated as assaults. On Thursday, November 15, 2018, the principal learned of another sexual assault incident that had occurred prior to the ones already being investigated. He immediately notified police and a fourth occurrence was generated. The six boys arrested today have each been charged with assault, gang sexual assault, and sexual assault with a weapon. All of these charges are in relation to the sexual assault learned about on Wednesday in relation to the video. All of the young persons are being held pending a show cause hearing and are scheduled to appear at 311 Jarvis today. The investigation with respect to the incident first learned about on Monday, November 12th, and the second sexual assault incident are now under investigation and this work continues. We have not determined whether any of these allegations are related to one another. More than 50 witnesses have been identified and more information comes to us daily. We also know there are several videos being circulated. We are in possession of these videos. We have reason to believe that there may be more videos and more incidents. We are very concerned about the distribution of the videos on social media. The unintended consequences are far reaching and detrimental to the recovery of the victim. I cannot stress to you the importance of ensuring that these videos are immediately deleted from all phones or devices in your possession. Failure to do so and or the continued distribution or publishing of these videos will be treated very seriously.